So I was coming out here to put something in the compost and uh, doesn't look like that's gonna happen because there is a fox sitting on top of my compost bin. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that is crazy. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Hey family, good morning. I know I seem a little antsy out here today, but um, I've been having an unusual problem, especially for my area. And I don't know how to uh, remedy that solution, but it's got me a little on edge. So all this week we have had foxes in the garden yes foxes f-o-x-e-s foxes they showed up they were up on the roof one night and they've been here ever since so they've been sleeping over there on top of the uh, pond enclosure and they've been up here behind me on top of the compost bin now the crazy thing is it turns out these guys have been here a lot longer than i thought all of the droppings that I've been finding, the damage that has been happening in a lot of the plants and stuff, it turns out that it was the foxes. So they have been creating trails all through my flower beds, every bed. They have gotten into the pond enclosure. Um, they've actually, underneath the kids' trampoline, they pretty much turned it into a litter box and a graveyard for all of their um, leftovers i'm gonna say <laughs> so yeah i um have been doing some things to try to get rid of them and so far none of it is helping so let me show you guys what i've been doing and um you guys leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have some idea of how to deal with foxes how to get rid of them i know a lot of you guys overseas over in the uk you guys deal with foxes a lot in your gardens so uh drop me a comment down below and let me know what you guys do to uh, get rid of these guys because I really don't want them around the kids. So stay tuned and uh, let me show you guys what's been going on. All right, so I came out here and I was creeping, looking to see if the fox was anywhere. And uh, yeah, they're on top of the pond enclosure. Sleep. One's up, both of them are up. Are those adults or babies? Because if they're babies, I mean, it's gonna be a mama or a daddy somewhere around. They went right back to sleep, that's crazy. knocking stuff over. Like I said, if they want to kill gophers and squirrels, they can have at it. I said, if they want to kill gophers and squirrels, they can have at it. As long as they ain't trying to get in here. Look at these guys. So now I know why it's so sunken in. So I keep wetting these guys with the hose and uh, they leave for a second and then they turn around and they come right back so I'm really starting to think they have a den over here and I'm gonna have to figure out where it is because these guys are definitely not bothered by me 
and there's a huge mound of dirt right behind my pond enclosure which I thought gophers was doing but it's pretty big so now I'm starting to think that uh, these guys have a den back here so I am going to douse some rags with ammonia and uh, plant it all around the garden and see if I can get rid of these guys. I came out this morning to find one of my tomato plants dug up. Um, several containers knocked over. I now know what is putting the trail here between my succulents and the little birdhouse I had back there in my tree. They have uh, ripped it out and ripped it to shreds. So the kids will be back tomorrow and I need these guys gone before they get back. So I'm going to be dousing these rags with ammonia and putting them around the garden. And then I'm going to take this vinegar and pour it in my compost bin. And uh, cause that's the other place they've been kind of climbing through the compost bin going back and forth between my house and my neighbor's house. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, get rid of these guys. So if you guys don't know, ammonia tends to smell really strong. It has a very uh, pungent smell, like uh, bad urine. So that's also one of the other things that they said you could use was urine. Place urine around your garden to uh, deter these guys. But um, yeah, my husband's not cooperating on that part. So I'm going to use the ammonia. You know, it's funny, one of the worst feelings is kind of going through your garden and you don't know what's out there or what's hanging around. I don't know if these guys are adults or juveniles. I don't know if there's parents hanging around. Um, none of that. I was coming out here earlier and I didn't see them. And when I got about over here, one of them sprang out of the bushes, jumped across the compost bin and into my neighbor's yard. So I'm really hoping that uh, there's nothing back here right now. And first thought, I thought maybe they were kind of building a uh, den back here, but doesn't look like it. I think they're just using it as a thoroughfare to uh, go straight through and into my neighbor's place. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and just pour some white vinegar Oh, that stinks too. And here, since it is natural. And hopefully that smell. Will deter them some. Also going to put one of the rags with ammonia. I'm putting them in baskets and I'm gonna hang one over here on this gate. But I gotta get over there. Okay, so I hung one here and I'm hoping that will help. Maybe the smell alone, like I said, we'll just keep these guys out of here. I really don't want to hurt these guys. Maybe if I hang it over here. Oh, this smells so strong, you guys. So strong. All right, and the other one's got to go back there. Like I said, these guys are sleeping up here. You woke up now, huh? See those guys? All right, let's see. If there's 
a den over here. I really don't want this thing to attack. And these guys are not afraid of us at all. They don't seem to be bothered by us. Like, <laughs> I wet them with the hose earlier. They left for about five seconds and then came right back. I think I'm gonna throw one up there and see what happens. So they're watching me now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that up there. they didn't go far they're still there all right so maybe the ammonia worked not sure oh no it didn't there he is there's one of them right there so i thought maybe it worked but um there were squirrels out here this morning when i came out and i didn't see these guys up here sleeping but they pulled that rag out of there something's been digging in my apple tree container but as you can see he is sitting right up there on top of my compost bin so i don't know where the other one is so i don't want to get too close because like i said they're definitely not afraid of me and i can't read them yet so I don't know their temperament. I don't see the other one. It's kind of hard to hold the camera up and uh, look around behind me. <laughs> but, all right, I gotta get rid of these guys because like I said, the kids are gonna be here today. Yep, I would be scared and stay up there too because I think these guys are hunting for you. This sucks, you guys. It's like every year the pests are getting bigger and bigger. I'm kind of afraid to see what's gonna pop up next year. But maybe it'll get that squirrel for me. I didn't dig up any of the plants, but here's one of the rags. Having foxes in your garden is not all bad. Foxes are predators. They're small animals, so um, these, I can't tell if they're adults or juveniles, they're not puppies. But foxes, because they're predators, they eat small animals. So they will go after your gophers, mice, rats, squirrels. Um, they also eat grubs and worms. Um, so like I said, it's not all bad having them in your garden, but they do cause a little damage so they trample all through the flower bed so you'll come out and you'll find a lot of your stuff is smashed um, they've turned the uh, kids trampoline underneath the trampoline they've turned it into a litter box so not only am I finding their feces but I'm also finding dead animal parts <laughs> I'm finding skulls and you know the skins of squirrels and things like that under that they've dug up one of my tomato plants um, because they are omnivores they eat greenery and they will eat meat you know so they actually go for your fruits and vegetables and stuff too mostly fruits from what i'm told but here's the thing so i have pretty much created an environment that is conducive for their survival because i am an organic gardener they are attracted to the smell of the fish emulsions the fertilizers um you know anything that has a natural decomposing odor to it they are attracted to it so they're also attracted to all the fruit trees around here and because of the fertile soil that is filled with you know worms and larvae of beetles and things like that which are the grubs they're actually just kind of uh, found them a little utopia <laughs> I'm not um, I love animals so I'm not brutal as in wanting to kill these guys I pretty much just want them to go. 
So I'm not doing anything to harm them. I'm trying to do gentle solutions to get rid of them. But, you know, like I said, I don't want them to be a danger to the kids when the kids are out here playing. Not only that, I don't want the kids to be afraid either. So I'm going to try one more solution today to see if I can get rid of them. But like I said, so far, nothing is working. You know, my first try was to water blast them. I hit them with the hose. They walked away for about five seconds. They came right back. I hit them with the hose again. They did the same thing. They came right back. Even going over to the pond enclosure and shaking it and slamming on the gate. Yeah, they just kind of stood up and looked at me. They didn't go anywhere. <laughs> so, all right. So today I'm gonna try one more solution and see if that works. And I will show you guys what that is. So this is too funny. I wish I had a setup where I can put cameras out here at night. But look at this. The foxes have been out here on the trampoline. <laughs> that is too funny. You can see all of their little paw prints. As you can see, even with me just bringing the hose out to water this area over here, that one has gotten up and gone to the back of the enclosure. Now, like I said, I've hit them with blast of water before, with a blast of water before, and uh, they pretty much just move back there and then they come right back. And he's already laying down. <laughs> he's just not bothered. So let's see what'll happen if I put this on jet and hit him with the water. All right, let's see if he'll move. And there he goes. Problem is, he doesn't stay gone, he comes right back. Oh, and there he goes, going back across. Going through the flower bed and up behind the compost bin. And there he goes across the fence into my neighbor's yard. So for now, that seems to be a temporary solution. I think I'm gonna have to come out here probably every hour on the hour and blast these guys, but it's not going to stop them from coming back through here at night. So I'm gonna figure out a way to, uh, you know, get these guys out of here. Oh, there's a rat up there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now I want the foxes back. As you can see, they don't stay gone too long. There's one back over there now. And they pretty much just kind of stare at me. But. <sighs> I'm not mad at it right now because like I said, I want it to get the squirrel and I want it to get that rat that I saw. So he can get comfortable for now as long as uh, he's doing his job. So my backyard smells like vinegar right now, but the foxes are not here. They're not up top. And they're not over there either on top of the uh, compost bin. So you know what? I'm thinking that vinegar has done the trick. So I took the ground where they were dropping off all of their leftovers and I poured vinegar all around there. I also put vinegar on some rags and left them in buckets. And you know what? I came out here this morning, they weren't here. I don't have all the digging that I had before. There is one fresh, little pile over there that they left 
but I'm um, just assuming that they're still trying to mark their territory. But that's about it. Not too much damage this morning. So hopefully the vinegar has done the trick. And uh, it's all right if these guys want to just pass through and catch a, you know, a few rodents. But I really don't want them living here. <laughs> so like I said, hopefully that has done the trick. So my backyard has been smelling like vinegar all day, but you know what? No foxes, not a single sighting all day. They haven't been on top of the pond enclosure. They haven't been over there on the compost bin. So I think it is vinegar for the win, at least for one day. Now, don't get me wrong, probably by next week, after the squirrels and everything are running rampant through my yard again, I'm probably gonna be wishing these guys were back. And uh, by then, I'm quite sure the vinegar smell will have faded away. But I think it's safe to say that uh, vinegar actually works in deterring foxes. So if you guys have another remedy, another solution, another hack, let me know and uh, I'll give it a try and uh, we'll see if I can uh, keep my yard fox free for the most part. Now I just have to go under there and clean up those uh, fresh piles. <laughs> but anyway, you guys have a blessed one and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you have a solution or a trick that I can use that will help limit their uh, frequent visits to my yard.